each individual case of those young people that are in, involved in, in prison in Bolivia are cases where some involve violation of human rights, some of them do not. I think that the prisons themselves are, are acceptable. I don't think they're inhumane in their treatment. I think that there are some people that have been held for a, a long period of time, uh, sometimes justifiably so and sometimes not, particularly because of the trend that of making sure that the individuals receive due process. And, my, and the concern has been that if, if there has not been a trial or not been a hearing held that in each individual case that it should be held. Uh, I, the department has been dragging its feet to some extent, but it's had a very difficult problem to deal with. The problem is that the Drug Enforcement Agency there and the Justice Department have been pushing one particular position, and then the State Department has been a little leery about taking another position. So uh, they've been kind of at odds with each other, and, and the State Department's not wanting to step on the toes of the Justice Department. And their main interest, of course, is the Justice Department has been to cut off the drug traffic into this country. Do you have uh, that uh, we need to make sure that that, uh, that those trials are held, but I think there are a lot of people that are getting just as exactly what they deserve, quite frankly. Um, I think that some of these people have taken a chance on making themselves millionaires by going and dealing in a multi-million dollar drug traffic. And if they're caught trying to take that chance, I have very little sympathy for them. I think that they should receive fair trials, but I think that if they re receive severe punishment, I think they very well may uh, justifiably deserve that. And I think that we, I think the parents sometimes. I do have some criticisms of the DEA, mainly because, uh, I, matter of fact, uh, uh, Mr. Bell has, uh, Griffin Bell has already said that he is thinking about totally dismantling the, the agency. And I think that that's probably a, a justifiable thing to do, mainly because the agency has, has, has been full of corruption. It's had individuals that are corrupt in it. It's had a situation where they've wasted a tremendous amount of money and done very little good. They've meddled in the affairs of other governments when they shouldn't have. We just had some real serious problems with them that I think they need to be revised. Uh, from your own investigation.